Right, morning all. Hi. Today I'm going to rave on again about my slow cooker here. I'm going to show you a classic use of a slow cooker because uh, it is my mission to get everybody to, to use the slow cooker if they've got one at the back of the cupboard or buy one because they're dirt cheap. Good Christmas present. Beef stew today. Now I'm just going to show you my ingredients. Some casserole steak, £2.49, Sainsbury's. I rarely buy beef. So expensive. A stew pack. We've got swede, onion, parsnip, carrots. We've got lots of potatoes. Our lass loves big chunks of potato, don't you, Dal? I do, I do, I do. Salt, pepper, dried mixed herbs, some garlic, a few bits of smoky bacon to add a bit of smokiness to the stew, as well as I want to put a bit of smoked ground paprika in there. Tomato puree, a few frozen peas, some fresh herbs out my freezer. We've got uh, a bit of sage, a bit of rosemary, a bit of thyme and a little bit of tarragon. Not too much because that's quite aniseedy. That's going to go in. Um, some flour here. That's where I'm going to start. I'm going to get my beef. Bit of pepper. Bit of salt to season the flour. Mix it up with a fork. This is how I'm going to start off. Mm. Now, I've seen a recipe, a slow cooker recipe, because I look them up on the internet. And this recipe says, just put the beef in the flour and put it straight in the slow cooker. I'm not keen on that idea. Don't ask me why. I like what you see them doing on the telly. Get your seasoned meat and brown it. I've got a little bit of oil in the pan here, look. So I'm just, that's how I'm going to start off, is sealing these chunks of meat in this flour apparently that helps seal the flavour in plus the flour when it goes into the stew are you watching me over here now don't be, don't be looking at me pan I'm seasoning this beef with the flour plonking it in the pan I'm just going to do it one pan full at a time I'm not going to cram the pan that's another tip I saw on some cookery programs so if you put too much meat in the pan at once with the flour you end up parboiling it rather than sealing it so you've seen all my ingredients I need to do some on me please I'm talking to the people camera woman I've got my meat in to brown you don't want to watch that it's like watching paint dry I've got all my veg and that to chop so by the magic of editing you can join us again as soon as that's done and I'll take up where I left off okay <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed that little intermission. I've been doing slicing and dicing while you were watching that fantastic dancer. As you can see, everything's ready. The meat has been browned. The potatoes, carrots, parsnip, swede, all nicely chopped. Garlic there. All I'm going to do with that, I want it to release its flavour into the, into the stew. I'm going to use the back of a knife and just slightly crush it. Now, if you're not that keen on garlic, you just want to put it in but not get a chunk in your mouth, finally chop it. But someone's going to, sp going to get a spoonful of garlic, you delight, aren't you, love? Mm. <laughs> She's not very keen. Right, I'm going to start throwing it in. The slow cooker, I've had it on high since I started, and it, I've been doing this for half an hour, right? So it's nice and hot. I'm going to just start layering stuff. First, I'm going to throw in my Swede. While I'm putting these veg in, if you, if you look over there, the tomato puree, I used about half the tube with some boiling water, uh, stirred it into that, dissolved it into that. I also didn't mention an ingredient. Put the spuds in. If you want to make your slow cooked beef extra special, cook it with beer. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is a dark porter which I'm going to pour in there. Breaks my heart. And if it wasn't half ten in the morning, I'd have probably supped half of that while I was doing the uh, slicing and dicing but I'm a good boy I've kept it all the beef's going to go in now with all its juices this bacon I'll tell you what onion there's not much onion there is there just a small sliced onion why I'll tell you why because my missus here camera lady hey yeah she loves these they're actually pickling onions in the last half an hour of slow cooking time Peel those, chuck them in, they stay whole, they stay absolutely gorgeous and sweet. 
Just right. like me. Joe, just like her, this nurse is going cocky, isn't she? I'm, I'm telling she's got a member of the union now, can't you? Uh, right, I'm going to put a little bit of this paprika in there. Just a touch. I'm going to pour in the beer. This is going to be fun. Is that breaking your heart, though? It is, but I tell you what, it will melt your heart once you taste it in this stew. Look at that. Have you got a good shot from there? Yeah. Look at that, it's pissing away. Now goes in the tomato puree in about half a pint of boiling water. Look at this stew starting to form. My herbs, I mixed them together, chopped them up a bit. As I told you before, there's rosemary, thyme, sage, and a little bit of tarragon in there. Shook them in. Rest of my spuds. Oh, I forgot my peas. A few peas. This is a two and a half or three litre slow cooker. If you, if you live on your own and you cook for yourself, you can get smaller ones, one and a half litre. Now, if you were putting a meal like this in, in the morning before you went to work, you'd want it on low and just put it in half seven, eight o'clock, go out all day, leave it on low. When you come in about five, that'll be cooked to perfection. If you have it on high, it cooks in approximately half the time. So we want it, it's half ten in the morning here. We want to eat around half three, four o'clock. Oh, sorry, director. She didn't tell me to look at the camera. We want to eat about half three, four o'clock. Stop laughing. So I put it on high, okay. Um, and I tell you what, until it's nearly serving time, that's it. I might make some dumplings. I might not. We'll have to see later on. But I can just leave it now. I'm going to party all day. Sir, you are one. I can feel your eyes all over my dumplings. Ernie gorgeous. Feel oh, what a busy day that was. It's now nearly four o'clock in the afternoon. The stew went in the slow cooker about half past ten this morning and it's ready. I've already taken the dumplings out. Look, look at them lovely dumplings. And I'm now going to serve up the stew. Look at that still bubbling away. We can switch that off now. I always make far too much for two of us, but we freeze it and it will make a meal in the day. Let's just lay it into the bowl. Make sure we get some of those baby onions. Some nice bits of vegetables. And some of this lovely rich sauce. One portion. Mm. Sue's getting excited. 
Oh, if you can see in there, what I didn't show you, I found in the fridge a bowl with half a tin of baked beans left over from when I had sausages yesterday. So I threw those in as well because I like the sweetness they add. And there we have it. Slow cooked beef stew with some lovely poppy seed crispy bread. I will just pop a dumpling on top. Not two each. We're not greedy buggers. By the way, I bet you thought that I drank our full bottle of whiskey today, didn't you? Well, I didn't. I'm not an animal. I've still got a little bit left, so cheers. Thank you for watching another episode of Cookery with Mac. Next time I shall be showing you how to cook oxtail, which I've got on order from the butchers. But for now, it's bye from Sue. Bye. And it's bye from me. Bye-bye.